Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense. Nothing is more thirst quenching than a tall, cold glass of lemonade, which is probably why a lot of perfumists and manufacturers use lemon in men's fragrance because it is so eye-opening, bright, and refreshing that I thought that I would highlight that accord in fragrances today and name off my top 10 favorite fragrances that have lemon in it. So when we return, that and more, so stay tuned. Welcome back guys. First up on my fragrance lemonade stand is a fragrance that the more and more I wear it, the more I actually come to like it. That is YSL's Y O Fresh. Eau Fresh is a wonderfully aromatic, bright, charismatic fragrance for spring and summertime. It does carry that Y DNA. It just has a little bit of more modern, bright, lemony spin to it. In fact, I believe that there are typically three notes in every fragrance that come to the fore or are more prominent than other notes. I'm going to call it the note trifecta, and I'll name off those three notes in each individual fragrance. So just something I want to mention too before we move on to other fragrances. Most of these fragrances are going to be year round. However, because of lemon is more like bright, refreshing and thinks, you know, obviously yellow makes you think of sun. These are going to be more appropriate for spring and summer. However, most of the time you can wear them year round. They are very, very versatile that way. The note trifecta in Wild Fresh is lemon, ginger and lavender. I really like how the lemon and ginger work together to make this pop off your skin in the open. But to really get the sense of this fragrance legs, you have to wait until the mid goes into the dry down. That stable, woody, masculine profile becomes more prominent in Wild Fresh. Second is a fragrance that came out in 1993, but it was reformulated in 2015 from the nose of Giles Romy, and that is from the house of Rojas. It is a bright, masculine, timeless classic, and if for whatever reason this has flown under your radar, I highly recommend making a blip today. Because you know how most fragrances have that if they have lemon in it that's bright and zesty and fresh in the open but that dries down and goes away this fragrance maintains that lemony freshness throughout its entire profile the longer this is on you the more prominent that lemon note becomes and if you don't know what i'm talking about it is rojas's oda rojas home wonderful little bottle that's not changed since 93 i think maybe it has changed a little bit but i do really like this presentation this is lemon verbena straight up all day long. It is a wonderfully aromatic fragrance and it does have great projection and longevity owing to the fact that it has so many wonderful notes in it that work together. Now the note trifecta in home is lemon, lime, and coriander. Now coriander can be extremely pungent and it bounces between kind of smelling like lemon or lime and it also has kind of a soapy sudsy feel to it. So that's what contributes to the clean soapy sudsy that um, projects. Fantastic, easy grab, quick grab fragrance for spring and summer for daytime casual wear. You can get a 100 ml bottle of Bodo Rojas Home for third, under 30 bucks. Next up, I fell in love with this fragrance when I first bought it as a blind buy and I've come to realize that the House of Ferrari have many like it that are also really, really good. I think there's like eight or nine that come in the same wonderfully classic presentation, the, the glass flacken, and that of course is Radiant Bergamot. Now Bergamot is a citrus fragrant note that can be found in the majority of men's fragrances because it is so, it's a nice twist on that lemon zest. It isn't lemon, it looks like lemon, however it's more like pulling down a little piece of that Mediterranean sun and putting it in a bottle. So the note trifecta in Radiant Bergamot is of course Calabrian Bergamot, you've got Italian lemon and nutmeg. Nutmeg adds a lightly sweet, slightly floral, spicy, very deeply green effervescence to Radiant Bergamot that combined with that Italian lemon and that Calabrian Bergamot make this with ginger, of course, ginger allowing it that, giving it that effervescent feel, make this one of the most refreshing quick grab fragrances with that lemon appeal on the market today. This is excellent for spring and summertime, but it does have a year-round versatility to it. This is primarily for casual daytime wear, but because it does have kind of a, it's got oak moss, patchouli, and that nutmeg, which kind of cant on the little bit darker, more earthy side. So it, this would be appropriate for occasional nighttime wear as well. The fantastic thing about Radiant Bergamot is you can get this 100 ml bottle, beautiful presentation for 20 bucks. It's an excellent deal. Next up is one of my favorite unisex cheapies because it doesn't smell cheap. It's from Calvin Klein and it is CK Summer. 
CK Summer comes in a new flacon every year. The 2019 version looks like you've ever heard of the term onomatopoeia, like when the live action Batman and Robin, whenever they would go to hit a bad guy, it would go or on the screen. It looks like that's what that is with the word summer over it. So bam, there's your summer fragrance. Consequently, the box comes with a various selection of cutesy peel off stickers that are definitely for the feminine side. This fragrance, in my opinion, gets better every year and 2019 is no exception. A lot of people make the assumption that CK fragrances are poor because some of the CK flankers do seem a little bit watered down or low in oil concentrations or aroma chemical substance, but I get a good six to seven hours out of this wonderful fragrance. CK Summer projects really well too because of its citrus floral heart. The note trifecta in CK Summer is quince, tangerine, and Italian bergamot. This fragrance opens bright and sweet and you have that one-two punch with the Italian bergamot and tangerine and the guava-like creamy sweetness coming from the quince. This trifecta stays potable into the dry down and then it becomes a sweet citrusy floral fragrance that is appropriate for both men and women. Excellent spring and summer fragrance that is also appropriate for year round. It does have a great versatility to it because of that citrus floral combination. And it is great for casual day and nighttime wear. This fragrance is another one that is wonderfully inexpensive, 20 bucks for a 100 ml bottle. This next fragrance I wore the other day and as soon as my wife got in the car with me, we were gonna run an errand, she was like, what are you wearing? I really like that. This is one of the fantastic, bright, excellent summertime staples that's ever been produced in term for, for lots of reasons on many levels primarily because of its cost its, its availability its versatility and how high the quality is of this fragrance it's easy to pick out the note trifecta it is bergamot lemon and neroli also i want to throw in that bitter orange leaf does a lot for this fragrance as well to keep it aloft and carry it along in terms of projection. This fragrance opens like you're staring into the sun. It's briefly confusing, just a tinge synthetic, but it never crosses that line. That only lasts for a few seconds because after that you're surrounded with an inversion layer of sweet citrus. This citrusy zesty fougere makes you think of your favorite hiking spot, maybe a waterfall, with the water cascading down and what it would be like to be under that waterfall because of the refreshment factor. The neroli in this makes me think of freshly cut flowers and the bergamot and lemon make me think of freshly cut fruit. This is definitely a spring and summertime scent, possibly a signature scent. It is high enough quality to be a signature scent. It is excellent for daytime and nighttime casual wear and you can get a bottle for right under 40 bucks. 100 ml bottle. Versace Pour Homme or on fragrance.net they call it Versace Signature. Next up is a fragrance from one of my favorite female perfumists, Anique Minardo. She created this over 20 years ago. It's still going strong, although you usually don't think of this fragrance when you think of the Lemon Accord. However, it figures quite prominent in this scent profile. It's as important as sugar is to lemonade. And that is Boss Bottle, the original Boss number six. And I love this fragrance. It is soft, sweet, subtle. Its signature is like apple cider or apple pie, apple pie with lemon. Now, when you think of apple pie, that makes the note trifecta in this really easy to pick out. You've got apple, you've got lemon and cloves. Yes, that clove accord is what really brings the apple and lemon together in such a way that makes it unique above and beyond a lot of other fragrances that were produced around that time. This one is still being produced, is still going strong after 20 years, and of course you can't knock that nostalgia factor. A lot of guys that were in high school or going through college were wearing this, and you smell this today, and you immediately have those memories from back then, and that makes you want to wear it more and more just for the memory factor. So a lot of factors go into making an excellent summertime fragrance, not the least of which it's a lemon accord. It's a wonderful spring and summer fragrance. However, it also contains some notes that are more appropriate for cooler, like fall, going into winter weather. So you can also wear this year round if you wish. Again, it has that versatility that comes with staple fragrances that have been around for a long time. It is more along this, the casual side. You can't really dress Boss bottled up unless you really want to, and then okay, you can go ahead and try it out. But in my estimation, it's for purely casual and everyday wear, everyday use. And you can get, this is a huge bottle here, but you can get a typical 100 ml bottle for right around 30 bucks. Next up is, well, I tried not to duplicate houses as much as possible, but I had to include this one in this list because it is a new fragrance. It is from Hugo Boss. 
and it is Hugo Now. This is one of those fragrances that the more you wear it, the more you find aspects of it that you really enjoy and really like. It is a quality fragrance. Hugo Now has been compared to Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O Intense, and it is similar. However, when it goes into the mid, into the dry down, that's when it crosses the Rubicon. The topography changes to something altogether different and unique specific to Hugo Now. It's within that marine ozone yet familiar DNA inversion layer when you really find the legs of Hugo Now in it and get to enjoy it most. Primarily responsible for your enjoyment of this fragrance is lemon zest, mint, and lavender. And that lemon lavender trio become more reliant on each other from the open to the mid to the dry down. In other words, it's it's there in the open, but primarily you get that lemon zest, that bright lemony, fresh citrus open that starts to dry down. And then from the, the mid, especially into the dry down, that lavender and that mint become more prominent and is really what makes this refreshing little bomb that it is. This is a summertime fragrance. However, it's also heat initiated or heat activated, meaning that if you wear this in high heat, you'll get kind of a re-actualization of the, that note trifecta. You'll get a little bit of more of that, the oomph to it with that lemon, that, that mint, and that lavender coming together in high heat. So if you're unsure about certain fragrances, you know you're gonna be sweating, you're gonna be you know, in a hot environment, Hugo Now is perfect for that. Because it's not cloying, it's really light. It's not super sweet, it's not heavy handed with any of its notes. They're all very well blended and that subtlety allows itself to be used in high heat without choking yourself or anyone else out. This also has a year round versatility to it. However, as a blue fragrance, I wouldn't necessarily call this a signature scent worthy, but it is a great easy reach or dumb grab. It is for daytime and nighttime casual wear and because it is still so new, it's gonna cost you right around the $60 mark. A little bit above, maybe a little bit below online right now. Next up is a fragrance that I recently had an opportunity to wear a little bit more because it'd been sitting on the shelf for a while. And it's another one of those that surprised me how much I like it and how high the quality is. It is from the house of Bulgari and it is Bulgari Man Wood Essence. Wonderfully zesty, aromatic, woody masculine fragrance that contains that wonderful lemon accord and that lemon scent profile. It was released in tandem with another fragrance from Bulgari Man and that is Wood Neroli. This is not to be confused with Wood Neroli. Yes, they do look like twins. They look like they're, they are related, but not related by smell. They smell completely different. Wood Essence opens very sweet and citrusy. It's got some sugars in there, some citrus and it's on the very verge of being synthetic but never crosses, it's just like on the cusp, it never crosses into that like synthetic territory. When it goes from the mid to the dry down, never crossing that synthetic threshold, that's when you really come to appreciate the note trifecta, which is lemon zest, coriander, and benzoin. The lemon zest is what gives this fragrance its pop and the coriander is what adds to its kind of zesty, pungent. But when you combine it with benzoin, that's when that sugar sweetness burns off and then you get that warm sweetness from the actual benzoin. Now benzoin is in the base because it has a really good fixative quality to it. It kind of binds everything together and it has somewhat of a astringent or medicinal feel to it. And that's what gives, when you combine that with the, let's see, we've got in this also there's cedar and cypress. Those two woods combined with the lemon zest, the coriander and that, that sweet, warm, rich benzoin that's what really gives this its pop, its pulp, its pulp, yeah, wood pulp. It's really what it smells like. You're standing in a lumber yard and you're smelling fresh wood, fresh, semi-sweet, pulpy wood. That's what this reminds me of. And that's that's owing to the, the coriander and that benzoin working together. Now, Wood Essence is a summertime fragrance. It is also heat activated, but having said that, I wouldn't wear this in high heat. It's a little bit sweet. Have you ever worn like Issey Miyake's Wood and Wood in high heat and you got a little bit, oh, wow, that's strong. That's what this will do. It's a little bit cloying, a little bit strong and pungent for high heat. Anything 73 degrees or below is gonna be perfectly appropriate for Wood Essence. It is a daytime, nighttime, casual wear fragrance. You could dress it up because it is a high quality fragrance. Nothing wrong with that, but primarily casual wear. And this one here, because it is a Bulgari fragrance, Bulgari tends to be a little bit on the upscale in terms of cost. You can get this 
wonderful, and I do love the presentation. I love these bottles, the Bul Bulgarian Man line. You can get this 100 ml bottle for about 50 bucks. Next up is a little known fragrance from the house of Salvatore Ferragamo, and it is called Free Time. Now I got free time from TJ Maxx. A lot of these, a lot of times you'll find Salvatore Ferragamo in rack stores. So if you're out and about and you wanna look for a really good, fresh, mature fragrance for men, you wanna look in the, the rack stores. Now this is from the F line. Free Time is a fresh, lemon, zesty, daytime, casual wear fragrance. It doesn't lend itself very well to nighttime. So primarily recommend wearing for daytime use. It's a nice alternative to a quick reach dumb grab for men's zesty lemon scented fragrance. This was launched in 2011. It's from the nose of Olivier Polge. Now this one opens fresh and citrusy, but before you can say typical blue fragrance, that opening salvo turns into a mature, refined, kind of a somewhat curated fragrance that is almost, and I say almost because it never quite crosses over into that genre or subcategory, but it's almost a barbershop feel to this. The note trifecta in free time is lemon, ginger, and musk. It's probably that, that muskiness. It's got kind of a heavy pungent musk to it in the dry down, and that's what lends itself to being a little bit more mature and refined in my book. Free time's dry down, woody and aquatic, slightly green, but you do still get a little bit of that lemon zest in there with finally that, that heavier, woody, masculine, musk. This is solely a spring and summertime fragrance. It doesn't have a really defined sweetness to it, so that makes it good for high heat. You can get this for about 22 bucks online, and again at TJ Maxx or other rack stores for about 20 bucks typically. Free Time is a great, fresh, lemony, blue fragrance alternative in your rotation. Our last fragrance features a fine lemon note, and it's one of my favorite, really kind of all year round, blue fragrances ever. It's from also the House of Bulgari, and it is Aqua Porom Atlantique. Yes, that fragrance that you can't sit up, it lays down. It's very unusual. When I first got this, I was like, how do you, what do you, I don't even understand. Is this like a UFO? What's good? It just like hovers, waiting to be used. You can't set it up. I thought maybe they're gonna like, in the box, I missed an additional piece that it sits on or something. But nope, that is exactly how it lays. And that's, you know, how you spray it. Ah, yeah, see? My finger smells great, but turn it around and respray it. This is, oh my gosh, so fresh. It is often compared to Dolce and Gabbana, light blue, oh intense, or light blue, the original. Uh, it does smell similar in some ways to Hugo now, but all of these that I'm mentioning are very, very different and they go their separate ways in the actual dry down. And the dry down is really what we're interested in. That open is just an introduction. Like the best part of any conversation is the actual conversation. It's not the greeting, right? You're not, you know, well, I'd like to meet them again just so I can you know, let, tell them my name. No, no, it's, it's a conversation. This, the, the dry down is the conversation of any fragrance. Released in 2017 from the nose of Jacques Cavalier Beltrud. If I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. Now the one thing that I love about this, and I've talked about it before in past videos when I've featured this in a list, was that yes, this has some similarities to other blue fragrances out there, even in like Versace Dylan Blue, but it has a more curated, finely tuned, refined and well-crafted quality about it that makes this better for dressing up. Now, a lot of blue fragrances, you can't really dress up. You could, but it just doesn't feel appropriate. So it's not, it doesn't mesh or jive or gel simply because blue fragrances are the very definition of a relaxing, bright summer afternoon when you're wanting to do something relaxing, R&R, enjoy life. It's not something you think of when you think of the term professionalism, a gathering, of a formal gathering or get together. However, Atlantique is perfect for that. It is very, very refined. I would say that you could dress the, this up as much as you possibly want to dress up. You could wear a tuxedo and wear this fragrance and someone smelling it wouldn't think that smells strange in this setting. It's perfect for that environment. So the note trifecta in Atlantique is gonna be lemon, lime, and lavender. And very similar to the other fragrances in this list that have also had lemon, lime, and lavender. Those three are kind of like the ultimate trifecta for citrus, fresh, and its versatility, this is a perfect signature scent. If you wanted to make Atlantique your signature scent, I would say have at it. That is a great choice, great decision. I've worn it for a long time. I'm actually wearing it today, as a matter of fact. 
and I absolutely love it. So great for spring and summer, can be worn year round, can be dressed up, dressed down, and this one is a little bit more. You can get this for around 55 bucks for this 100 ml bottle online, most fragrance discounters. Well guys, that's it for my 10 lemon-based or lemon-scented fragrances that I think are the best for spring and summer, or really year-round, anytime. Uh, but as you and I well know, the lemonade stand shuts down for wintertime. It's primarily a spring and summertime venture, as well as the fragrance itself. So I hope you like the list. If there's anything in the list that you uh, really, truly enjoy, have good experiences with, please share that in the comments below. If you think there are other fragrances that should have been part of the list, please share those as well. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. As always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you next time.